Before we get started with tonight's ceremony, I would like everyone to please take their cell phone out and turn their ringers off. Also, please refrain from behaviors that should only be deemed acceptable at sporting venues. Outbursts of cheering, shouting, or whistling detract from the dignity this event deserves. Having said that, welcome to the 87th commencement ceremony of Lakeview High School. It is an honor to be principal of Lakeview High School. Over the past 11 years as assistant principal and a half year as principal, it has been my privilege to be a part of the education of the students that are here before us today. I'm very proud of the accomplishments of this group of leaders, artists, athletes, and scholars before you today. This class scored a 1026 SAT composite, that is a 20 ACT average. They amassed a total of 2,062 college credits, 343 through our Baker College program, 891 through our Wayne State University program, and 810 Macomb Community College dual enrollment credits. Total tuition costs contributed by Lakeview Public Schools was a staggering $460,758. Class of 2018 scholars have accepted $1.5 million in scholarship money compared to 1.3 last year. Congratulations, your academic drive has paid off. All of our staff at Lakeview Public Schools have worked hard to prepare each and every one of our students for the next phase of their journey in life, regardless of their chosen path. The administration and Lakeview Public Schools wish them all great success in their lives and careers. I would now like to recognize the many distinguished guests that are with us tonight. Lakeview Public School Board of Education President Daniel Dombrowski. <laughs> Vice President Philip Thomas. <laughs> Secretary Donald Wheaton Jr. <laughs> Treasurer Michael Baer. <laughs> and trustees James Corey. Robin Martin, and Peter Asha, Jr. I would all like to recognize Lakeview Central Office staff, Carl Pawson, Superintendent, Tracy Van Piren, Assistant Superintendent of Human Resources Director, Chris Kress, Director of Student Services, Kathy Conan, Director of Business Services. <laughs> Catherine Newman, Early Education Director. And last but not least, Sean Zaborowski, Director of Athletics and Operations. <laughs> I'd now like to recognize the Jefferson Middle School Administration, Principal David Lavender. <laughs> Assistant Principal Jason Townsend. and Dean of Students, Jennifer Zaborowski. <laughs> Elementary School Principals, Chris Hahn of Ardmore Elementary. <laughs> Sarah Dabalier, Greenwood Elementary. <laughs> Greg Cedar, Harmon Elementary. <laughs> and Justin Cabe, Princeton Elementary, who could not be with us tonight. I'd now like to recognize Lakeview High School High School Administration, High School Assistant Principals, Heather Huber, and Russ Woodruff. I'd also like to take a chance, or take a, this chance, to, this time, excuse me, to recognize the class of 2018 sponsors, Amanda Decker and Stephanie Johnson, who couldn't be with us here tonight.
Our graduation guest speaker, Lakeview High School, class of 1984, and owner of the serendipitous soul, Jennifer Raybo. I'd now like to recognize all the teachers with us here tonight. Please stand and be recognized, all the Lakeview High School and public school teachers. The students before us tonight have unquestionably had the support of their parents getting to this point. The importance of this support cannot be underestimated and should be recognized. Will the parents, guardians, please rise and be recognized? To announce this evening's graduation awards is Lakeview Public Schools School Board President, Mr. Dan Dombrowski. Thank you, Mr. Kapla. On behalf of the Lakeview Public Schools Board of Education, I'd like to welcome all to this evening's Class of 2018 commencement. Lakeview's 87th commencement. Traditions are an important part of any organization, and in schools, the tradition of graduation is a particularly moving and uplifting event. This is a time when we, as school board members, administrators, teachers, support staff, parents, and families, applaud the academic, the athletic, artistic, musical, and social accomplishments of each of you. This particular class is especially talented as we saw May 23rd in the number of scholarships and awards that were presented. Graduation also gives us the opportunity to celebrate the many fine accomplishments of individual members of the class of 2018. While these honors are given to individuals, all honors reflect on the quality of the entire class. I know that you celebrate with me as we recognize the following eight individuals for their outstanding achievements, noting that the first seven awards are considered of equal ranking, and the eighth award, the Robert H. Shoblin Award, is considered the top award. First, we have the Belfour Award. This is the oldest of our awards. The recipient's names date back to 1962 on three of the four Belfour plaques we can find. The missing plaque predates the 1960s, a plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based on service and scholarship. The 2018 recipient of the Belfour Award is Daniel Blondell. Next, we have the Richard Black Award. First awarded in 1970, this plaque is presented to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based upon leadership, athleticism, and scholarship. The 2018 recipient of the Richard Black Award is Alicia Bolero. to make sure we have the house in order here. The Honor Award, initially awarded in 1962, a plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on the faculty based on leadership, service, and scholarship. 
The 2018 recipient of the Honor Award plaque is Tessa Lau. Next we have is the Co-Ed Service Award. This award was first presented in 1962. A plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on the faculty based upon character, service, and scholarship. The 2018 recipient of the Co-Ed Service Award is Anna Ellis. Next, we have the Christine Neiman Award. This award originated in 1963, named in honor of a former math and Latin teacher who was a member of one of St. Clair Shores' original families. Neiman Street was named after this family. A plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based on character and scholarship. The 2018 recipient of the Christine Neiman plaque is Marissa Perez. Next, we have the, Rig I'm sorry, the William Shrigley Civic School Award. Mr. Shrigley was a member of the Lakeview Board of Education. In 2008, his family made an endowment to the Alumni Association, providing professional development money to a teacher, and the Shrigley Award to a senior who has demonstrated leadership and scholarship. The 2018 recipient of the William Shrigley Civic School Award is Madison DeHerty. Next, we have the Ian Smith Award. Mr. Ian Smith Sr. is a former Lakeview Board Education President, a plaque to be presented at commencement to the senior that was voted on by the faculty based upon leadership, service, and scholarship. The 2018 recipient of the Ian Smith Award is Jessica Woodside. And last, we have the Robert H. Shoblin Award. Mr. Robert H. Shoblin served honorably as Lakeview High School principal from 1951 to 1978. He also served as district superintendent of schools. This plaque is awarded to the most outstanding senior as voted on by the faculty. Criteria for this award 
character, leadership, service, and scholarship. This honor has been awarded to our top senior since 1967. The 2018 recipient of the Robert H. Shovlin Award is Charlotte Batchelor. Lastly, it is said that money is the root of all evil. While that may be in many ways, while that may be true in many ways, technology, in my opinion, has turned us into a, turned us to a close second social media. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, LinkedIn, and countless others all have value in what they offer with the audiences they cater to. While social media has its place, all too often we hear stories that simply can't be made up. For example, Roseanne Barr, whose inappropriate tweet sparked outrage resulting in the cancellation of her show and numerous jobs that were lost as a result, fellow actors, producers, directors, writers, and so on. Add to it the recent story of Brian Colegno, president of the NBA Philadelphia 76ers, where he just lost his job because his wife shared confidential information via Twitter through burner accounts, allegedly without his knowledge. And the stories go on. You have probably been party to, been affected by, or heard of some inappropriate social media activity in your own personal space. Note that while some may find those electronic exchanges amusing, others may not. Used inappropriately or foolishly, social media can be outright dangerous. As you leave here tonight as graduates of Lakeview High School, you will be held accountable for your actions at a different level and at a higher standard. The internet does not forget. Employers have always had means of finding out what you have done, what you haven't done in the hours, days, weeks, months, and years past. Look at how many times social media activity has provided law enforcement leads to arrests, convictions, and jail time. Don't let a prior social media slugfest cost you a potential great opportunity, albeit a career or personal, as we've already seen careers and personal lives ruined by stupidity through faceless and gutless keyboard activity. Use social media as a tool for all the right reasons, and when you see something gone wrong and you feel the urge to retaliate, be the bigger person. Take the high road and don't engage. And if you feel threatened, seek advice, whether through your family, friends, churches, co-workers, or if ultimately necessary, law enforcement. On that, we wish all of you, the class of 2018, all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Dombrowski, and congratulations to our award recipients. Excellent work. Tonight, the Lakeview Select Choir will be performing the Lakeview High School alma mater and Irish Blessings under the direction of Mrs. Jody Thompson.
Thank you, Lakeview Choir. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of the class of 2018, Julieta Biblikai. <laughs> Julieta is the youngest of four children, all of whom attended Lakeview High School. Her parents are Joe and Julie Biblikai. She has served on the LHS Student Council for four years and as class president for three years. She also was yearbook editor for two years and dog pound leader her senior year. Along with student council, Julieta played volleyball and basketball for three years, played soccer for four years as well. Julieta was also a member of the LHS Diversity Club. Julieta will be attending the Douglas J. Avita Institute of Cosmetology in the fall and plans to own her own salon. I present to you, Julieta. Good evening, and welcome to the 2018 commencement ceremony. I'm Julieta Bibakai, this year's class president, and I would just like to start tonight off with a few thank yous. To our parents and guardians, everyone is congratulating us for graduating high school, but it's you who should be, in, be getting the balloons and cards. I know we wouldn't have made it without your love, dedication, and occasional screams of frustration. Let's be honest, we wouldn't even have woken up every morning without you yelling at us to get our butts out of bed or else. <laughs> to our staff and faculty, thank you for so unselfishly sharing your time and knowledge with us. To Ms. Decker and Ms. Johnson, thank you for all the help you have provided for us these past four years. 
He made our short time here at Lakeview memorable. And to Mr. Paulson, thank you for all the snow days you didn't approve. <laughs> I know we don't say it enough, but thank you to every individual who has helped and guided us these past few years. I'd like to say a special thank you to my parents, who have sacrificed everything to come to America and give me and my siblings an opportunity to make something of ourselves. If it weren't for you, I'd probably be hurting some animals on that farm you grew up on, Dad. <laughs> Now, I could sit here and ramble on and on about some corny, cliche quotes I found on Google somewhere. I could also reminisce these past four years here, but I'll save that for those late night bonfires this summer. What I can talk about are the things I've learned from the people closest to me. Invest in yourself, read a book, travel the world, learn a new skill, think outside of the box, get out of the daily routine of life and make the most out of every moment we are blessed enough to live in. Being the youngest of four siblings, I've gotten a glimpse of what life can be like after high school. When people say life will knock you down, it will. Things will get tough. Friendships will fade. Life starts moving at a million hours an hour, and it's hard to keep your head above water sometimes. I've seen how hard it can be firsthand. Now let that sink in for a second. We are stepping out of our childhoods and making our first strides into adulthood. Stand up tall and start this new chapter with a new fond confidence. Life will hit you, sometimes when you least expect it to. Take the hit and hit back. Make every low point in your life a source of motivation to reach your goals. Don't quit and don't ever give up. Stay true to yourself, put effort into the things you believe in. Don't look for luck, make your own. Outwork everyone in your path and let everyone who doubts you watch from the ground as you keep climbing closer and closer to reaching your goals. Because what's more important, what we become or how we become it? This is a question that many of us will face in our lives. In the journey we are all about to take, we will encounter a great variety of individuals and challenges in which our core values will be tested. However, it is important we all hold to these values that have gotten us to this point. Be true to yourself and never forget where you come from. With that being said, it's time we start making some decisions, as many of us already have. Some will be going to college. Some of us will be joining the military. Some of us will be going to trade school and some of us will be putting off that decision as we get a late night game of Fortnite in. Whatever we do, do it with love. Be passionate and dedicate yourself. The hatred brewing in today's world can only be conquered with love. Darkness cannot drive out of darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out of hate, only love can do that. We are the generation to bring light back to the world. Together, our capabilities are endless. As Mother Teresa once said, not all of us can do great things, but we can do great things with small love. Cure for cancer and world hunger, who is to tell us we cannot? We can and we will. So to my fellow peers, with that being said, I think goodbyes are sad, and I'd much rather say hello. Hello to a new adventure, a new chapter, and a, good, a new beginning. Congratulations and good luck to the class of 2018. It is an honor to be honoring our distinguished teacher this year. This year's distinguished teacher award will be going to Mr. Harrod Saris. Thanks, same to you. Apparently everyone's prepared but me, so um, I don't know. I want to thank everybody for voting. I think, what, three of you voted for me? Um, I'm sure I've been called a lot of adjectives over the year, and I don't know if distinguished would be one of them, but it is what it is. Um, no, truly I'm humbled by this award, because uh, any one of my colleagues are equally, if not more, deserving of it. But um, I do thank you nonetheless. I do want to congratulate all of you for making it. Um, congratulations to the class of 2018. You've got a long road ahead of you, but it is a fun one. The easy part's behind you, and I wouldn't be me if I didn't give you some advice. Um, every night before you go to bed, ask yourself, are you better off today than you were last night? And if the answer is no, you didn't do enough. Make something of yourselves, come back and visit. Congratulations. Thanks again.
This year, the class of 2018 will be gifting Lakeview High School a time capsule. This time capsule will be opened in 2068 by the graduating class of Lakeview. The tree was a cherry blossom tree that was donated by Halls. Thank you. Congratulations, Mr. Harris Harris. Well deserved. And thank you to class of 2018 for your thoughtful gift. Next, Lakeview High School is proud to be a National Honor Society member school. NHS students must maintain a 3.5 GPA, perform 48 hours of community service, 18 of which are in the form of tutoring, 18 honor service, and another 12 large-scale service projects like cleanups. This year, the LHS National Honor Society donated $2,349 to the Capuchin Soup Kitchen. Yearly, NHS donates hundreds of hats, scarves, and mittens to MCREST. This year, NHS volunteered at Forgotten Harvest, the Nautical Mile Cleanup, and St. Clair Shores Drain Stenciling for the St. Clair Shores Waterfront Environmental Committee. They are all bound by the NHS standard of character, leadership, scholarship, and service. And tonight, we have 28 NHS member students graduating. Could all of the NHS students who are seated on stage please rise and be recognized? Thank you for your commitment and service to Lakeview community. The selfless work that these students do is truly inspiring. The class of 2018 has 16 students before you today who are wearing a gold stole. They are being recognized for their accomplishments as graduating with highest honors. These students earned a minimum 3.75 GPA, have earned proficient on all MME endorsements, and have taken at least two advanced placement courses. Would all of the students graduating with highest honors please stand and be recognized for all your accomplishments? <laughs> the class of 2018 has 45 Silver Stole recipients. Silver stoles signify a student graduating with honors. These students completed the required courses for graduation, maintained a GPA of 3.5 or better, and have earned at least two proficient endorsements on the Michigan Merit Exam. All students graduating with honors, please stand. Lakeview High School's class of 2018 salutatorian is Marissa Perez. Marissa is the youngest daughter of Sandy and Rudy. At Lakeview, Marissa was part of the National Honor Society for three years and secretary of NHS this past year. She was also a member of Mu Alpha Theta for two years. Marissa is a two-year varsity soccer player and also was on the varsity golf team her freshman year. In addition, Marissa was a, a member of the Butcher MM. STC Ecology Club. Marissa will be attending the University of Michigan Ann Arbor in the fall and will major in biomedical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Marissa Perez. Thank you. It is a great honor to be speaking here today. To the class of 2018, as some of you may know, academically, I have always been much stronger in the realm of science than in English. Because of this, the task of compiling some words of encouragement and advice to leave all of you proved to be difficult. So I decided to stick to my strengths and follow my passions. Today, I'll be talking to you about physics. Physics is the study of matter, its motion and behavior through space and time. Isaac Newton was a physicist whose three laws of motion changed our understanding of the universe. Throughout my time here at Lakeview, 
I have learned that Newton's three laws apply not only to motion, but to every single one of our lives. Newton's first law states that an object at rest stays at rest, and an object in motion stays in motion, unless acted upon by an outside force. So, objects in the physical world don't move of their own accord, just like we will not move toward our goals without time and dedication. Our families, friends, and teachers have motivated us to succeed, and we've put in the effort to get us where we are right now, graduation. Now, it is time for us all to set new goals and then set them into motion. Make these goals big and don't be afraid to go after them. If there's not a chance you'll fall short, you're not setting your goals high enough. Newton's second law states that the magnitude of a force applied to an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. So the heavier the, an object, the more force is required for that object to accelerate. In the same way, the bigger the goals we set, the more time and effort is required to reach these goals. For example, graduation was our goal, and now here we are. But we, didn't get, but we didn't get to this point on a whim. It took effort. We spent countless hours learning and improving ourselves to get here. Now that we are graduating, we have set new goals for ourselves. We know that becoming the CEO of a company, the chef of a five-star restaurant, or even a first-place video gamer doesn't happen overnight. We know that blood, sweat, and tears are all that separates those who reach their goals from those who don't. Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When someone applies a force to an object, that object exerts a force of the same magnitude back in the opposite direction. Likewise, while we are reaching for our goals, negative forces will be working against us. But in our years here, Lakeview has motivated us to reach beyond our limits and has prepared us with a skill set to face these obstacles head on. Achieving a goal means overcoming obstacles. So remember to remain optimistic because every obstacle you overcome is an achievement and you are one step closer to making your dreams a reality. Isaac Newton not only laid down the basis of modern physics, but he inspired scientists who came after him to follow in his footsteps. Each and every one of us has the ability to do the same, to become a catalyst for positive change in our community and in our world. One of the people Newton directly inspired was Marie Curie, the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. As Curie once said, we must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing must be attained. So, which one of us will be the next Isaac Newton or Marie Curie? Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Marissa. The valedictorian of the class of 2018 is Daniel Blondell. Daniel is the youngest son of Therese and Ray. At Lakeview, Daniel was part of National Honor Society for two years and Mu Alpha Theta for a year. He is a three-year track athlete as well. Daniel will be attending Michigan State University in the fall and will major in engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Bondal. Good evening, everyone. First, I would like to thank our families, friends, and staff for the incredible roles they have played in getting us to this point. Can we give them a nice round of applause? <laughs> After graduation, we have so much to look forward to. However, before we take the next steps into our future, let us look to the past. During the past decade, so much has happened in our world. We have experienced some drastic changes, especially in terms of technology. The most relevant example to us is the smartphone. Ten years ago, there was no Instagram and there was no Snapchat. Today, we have several social media apps that we use daily. Now, technology provides us with so many more opportunities than we had ten years ago. We have virtual reality headsets and the ability to identify individuals through facial recognition. Our lives in school have developed significantly as well. 
In some ways, the past four years felt like forever. We met so many people and made so many memories, but as we ran the race of high school, the path was not without its hurdles. Many of us had jobs or hours of homework, or even both. We all had new responsibilities. These obstacles threatened to break the resolve of even the most determined students, but with each hurdle we clear, we feel accomplishment knowing that we are one step closer to our goal. Now that we have overcome the challenges of high school and that goal stands before us, what do we get? What did our hard work earn us? Opportunity. Drawing a parallel to the ways that technology has changed in recent years, our development in high school has presented us with countless opportunities. Many of us are driving cars and have disposable income. And after tonight, even more doors are available for us to open. While we are all presented with the possibility of success, it is our responsibility to choose a door and commit to its path. I ran track for three years. The first year was a disaster. I was, I was injured for the majority of the season, and I was slow for the rest. Second year, I tried running longer distances, and I began to see slight improvements. However, this year I was determined that things would be different. I pushed myself, and while I definitely wasn't the best, I smashed through my expectations, competed more, and made some amazing friends. One of the two most important characteristics for achieving success is dedication. This trait drives individuals to be successful, and it certainly helped me in high school. Academic success relies on countless hours spent completing homework and studying for tests. Commitment is a necessity for success in almost every situation. Dedication separates those who succeed as athletes from those who are too sore or too tired. However, improvement is built on more than just commitment and repetition. This is where the other important characteristic comes in. Determination. It gives reason to all the blood, sweat, and the tears. It is the confidence that you will be your personal best, that you can be faster or stronger. You can throw, hit, throw or hit harder. Seize your opportunities and stay dedicated and determined to whatever path your future holds. The world is ready for the class of 2018, and now we're ready for the world. Thank you all, and it's great to be a Husky. Thank you, Daniel. It is now my pleasure to introduce the superintendent of Lakeview Public Schools, Mr. Carl Paulson. myself organized here with uh, 17 pages of notes. Sure, one day, not today. Good evening, thank you to everybody for being here. It's an important event. Our Board of Education and our administrators, our staff and the special guests that are here are pleased that you're here. Seniors, you made it. Tonight, we are proud of you. Parents, you made it. Tonight, we are pleased for you. Faculty, you made it happen. And tonight, I am pleased for you. A couple of weeks ago and earlier tonight, we've had a number of our senior class decorated with academic accolades and honors. Many of our seniors also demonstrate success in athletics, band, orchestra, clubs, other activities. Let's remember, those accomplishments are a reflection of what you have done. You live this year till tonight as seniors. When you walk across this stage later, you will become graduates. When we all walk down the aisle and you go out those auditorium doors, each of you will be challenged to do much more. The challenge you face and all of those challenges in the future are what makes life interesting. Overcoming those challenges is what makes life meaningful. You've overcome one big challenge 
and our celebration tonight gives it meaning. My simple words of wisdom, your future, seniors, it's just starting to be created. What you make of your future as a graduate will be up to you. I challenge you to make the most of it. I'll say it again. The challenges you face are what will make life interesting. And when you overcome those challenges, your life will be meaningful. Keep getting an education. No matter what you choose to do, no matter how fast or slow you choose to do it, keep getting an education. Education is the great equalizer. Pay for it now. It will pay you back many times over. You can be the next welder, accountant, mechanic, teacher, marine hero, lawyer, pastor, doctor, police officer, or small business owner. You must be the engines of our economy. That'll help the rest of us be on Social Security. <laughs> I know with what you've learned in Lakeview, you are prepared for a world of challenges, and you will make your life meaningful. Later tonight, you get to begin that journey, and I know you will make all of us proud. Congratulations, you made it. I also have the pleasure of introducing our guest speaker. Her journey began as a 1984 graduate of Lakeview. We need to put everything into context and give parents, family, our staff, and board a chance to reflect and think back to the year 1983-84 in Lakeview. When young Jennifer Campo wandered the halls of Lakeview sporting her Huskettes jacket, she finished her career and crossed this stage. So here's a few things of note. The Apple Macintosh personal computer aired its debut commercial during the Super Bowl in January of 1984. And what was unique about the Apple Macintosh back then, it had this new device connected to it. A mouse for the first time. Nineteen eighty four. The USSR, now Russia for everybody, and several Soviet bloc countries boycotted the Summer Olympics that were being held in Los Angeles. President Reagan announced he would seek a second term, potentially becoming the oldest U.S. president ever reelected. He ultimately beat Walter Mondale in a landslide. Reagan also announced something very important. He said that the global positioning system would be opened up for public use. GPS, as we consider it today, is now used in literally thousands of apps, which would show up on phones. Hello. No, no, I'm busy right now. You'll the battery's already dead. Yes. 
Motorola introduced the first portable cell phone. It, it was very much, very much that. Commercially available, ready for anybody to buy and use for $4,000. Let's put that price for a cell phone in perspective with the introducing of a new concept in vehicles, the minivan. For $9,000, you could have a Dodge Caravan minivan for the first time. The highest points ever scored in an NBA basketball game. Detroit Pistons, 186. Denver Nuggets, 184. That's crazy. Bless you boys. Kirk Gibson put some insurance on the Detroit Tigers' fifth win in the World Series, taking two home runs to do, to put down the opponents. Movies in 83 and 84 were dominated by male leads. Go ahead, make my day. The parents know. Clint Eastwood, well-known phrase, he used that in sudden impact that year. How about another one? I'll be back. <laughs> Arnold. Arnold used that phrase for the first time in The Terminator. Who you gonna call? Bill Murray stepped away from SNL and got into Ghostbusters fame. Obi-Wan has taught you well. Return of the Jedi. Would you like to play a game? War games made Matthew Broderick a household name and also began the conversation about computer hacking. Huh, 1984, computer hacking on a crazy looking cell phone. Wendy's old lady ad campaign, do you know it? Where's the beef? Where's the beef? Dallas, Dynasty, and the A-Team were the top-rated TV shows on the three networks. Michael Jackson's Thriller album won Best Album, and Beat It from the album won Best Record. Every breath you take every move you make. He wasn't Sting back then. He was the police. How could you just leave me standing alone in a world that's so cold? When Doves Cry, Prince, another top hit that year. Billie Jean is not my lover. She's just a girl who claims that I am the one. No, Michael, you're not the one. But what's love got to do with it? Tina Turner made her return to the pop charts. Culture is something. A full complement of sports, clubs, musical options, band and orchestra, those are all activities that kept students involved at LHS in 1984. The band and football team actually played a game in the Pontiac Silverdome. In 1984, our girls basketball team was one and 19. 
a little different this year and last year. A new McDonald's opened at Nine Mile and Mac. Macomb Mall, Harbor Lanes, Little Mac Dairy, popular hangouts for Pac-Man, Galaga, Space Invaders, the Fortnite of their day. Oh yeah, Stuart Photography was taking senior pictures. <laughs> Are you still alive? <laughs> there he is, the legend. Milk was $1.20 a gallon. Gas was $1.10 a gallon after it skyrocketed during the recession. So when gas was a buck a gallon and Prince was wooing girls at concerts, this young bright girl by the name of Jennifer Campo finished her career as a husky and headed into the workforce. Now married with two adult children, Jennifer Rabo comes to us right here from St. Clair Shores. She's been married to her husband, Edward, 27 year, 29 years, and she's been self-employed 27. Most of those holding a top leadership position in direct sales, giving her the ability to work with thousands to produce millions. This kind of a career provided her an opportunity to learn firsthand how the power of influence is a gift when used in the world. She has a true passion for sharing and has been honored to author and present training to thousands of adults in her career. Most recently, she opened a business in the shores called the Serendipitous Soul. Please join me in welcoming to the stage our 1984 graduate. You're going to sing for us? Oh, I wouldn't even begin to compete with you, dear. That was fantastic. So many memories. Thank you so much for allowing me to be here this evening. What an honor. I mean, this opportunity is truly mind-blowing for me because when I look back, I'm going to be honest here, law of realness, uh, I didn't really care for school. You know, and I'm going to be honest too, I didn't get very good grades. Um, yeah, right? Can you feel me, some of you, right? Uh, I will say this, I'll give myself a little bit of credit. I got good grades in the things I loved. Can some of you relate to that? Yeah, at the time it was like masterpiece and humanities and things like that that were super cool that I got good grades in. And one of my strongest memories is sitting in a classroom uh, upstairs looking out over 11 Mile Road and wishing I was one of the adults in the cars driving that day. I wanted to be out and an adult. And, uh, and I, some of you are probably itching to do the same thing now as well. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to take a moment, because I'm a mindfulness educator, to just take this in. Because this is very cool because I'm a pretty unlikely candidate, I think, to be up here. So I hope each of you takes a moment sometime this evening, and your parents and your guardians and your grandparents and everybody, to really recognize the wonder and awe of this day. Eight weeks ago, I said yes to this opportunity to speak because I thought it would be fun. I know, right, standing up in front of 1,500 people talking, I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool because like some of the speakers have said before me, stretching yourself, challenging yourself is a big part of making the most out of your life. And so for me, this was a, a stretch and a challenge. So I've had a lot of fun so far. But the biggest reason I felt called to do this was when I found out the date of this occasion, June 8th, 34 years ago this very day, during this very time frame, I was doing the very thing you guys are doing tonight. I was graduating from Lakeview High School. I thought that was pretty doggone cool. 
Thanks. So after I accepted the very kind offer from Mr. Kapla, I received an email letting me know that they wanted to order a cap and gown for me. Now I have to be honest, I don't remember a lot about graduation day, but I do remember one emotion from that evening. As I sat with my classmates, like you guys are doing right now, okay, I looked around and I began to notice gold cords, National Honor Society hoods, and other adornments. And I looked down and I realized that all I had on was a plain gown. That was it. No cords, ribbons, pins, tassels, or hoods to signify anything special. I remember feeling less than, like I didn't measure up in some way. Fast forward to eight weeks ago when I was asked to share not only how tall I was while ordering a gown, but to note what college or university I attended and any degrees earned. None, none, I found myself writing. <sighs> and I was immediately taken back to that day in 1984. So here I stand in front of you as your commencement speaker in a gown in 2018, still plain. No cords ribbons, pins, tassels, or velvet hoods to signify anything special. No symbol of having achieved any level of higher education, although let me tell you, I have, and you will, receive many levels of higher education from life itself. There's no doubt about it. And back in 1984, I felt my lack of adornment was symbolic of my worth, and whether or not I would be successful after I left here and I couldn't have been more mistaken. Because whether you are fully adorned this evening, or like me, are part of the minimalist movement, <laughs> neither is a determinant of future well-being. And as much as I kind of loathe the word, since it can have a lot of connotations around worldly things like money and status, success. Success is a beautifully fluid word, my friends so it's whatever you deem it to be moving forward. So what are a few pearls of wisdom that I would like to leave you with this evening as you become Lakeview High School's newest set of alumni? First of all, trust the process. Like the other speakers have said before me, there will be pressures, there have been pressures, no matter what road you take. Have faith and belief that you will be taken care of. Life is not out to get you, okay? Or you're not just a victim of circumstance. You have much more say over the quality of your life than most of you have been led to believe. Speaking of care, be sure to take care of yourself as well. I see many folks in my line of work who have learned the hard way that life is much harder when you put yourself last. Also remember that there are blessings and lessons and both. In fact, most of the people in this room would probably tell you that the blessings come after the lessons. The second piece of wisdom I want to leave you with tonight is to learn to lean in. For the best results, apply effort and energy. Yes, you have to work at things, and again, that's been discussed this evening. Even the things you love, things that come easily. Passions destined to fuel your purpose still need some action taken. Look ahead, my friends. Have goals, but every now and then turn around and take a victory lap. Say, good job, like today, victory lap. You guys, good job. T stand back and take some credit and enjoy what you've done. And finally, leaning in involves risk, and that's okay, because like the old saying goes, no risk, no reward. The final pearl of wisdom I wish to share is to possess radical resiliency. You possess everything you need. You were born with everything you need. You lack nothing. There'll be times in life where you're gonna question that and you're gonna wonder, has it got covered up with dirt? Where is it? I can't find it. And there will be beautiful things and people that come into your life to remind you, to help kick the dirt off and get you back to where you belong, back home. So remember, you possess everything you need. Call it gut, intuition, the guidance of a higher power if you believe, but all requires stillness to be heard. Learn to honor peace as much as our society honors distraction these days. Your generation and the generation you produce can be the ones that swing the pendulum back to some level of sanity. Please do. Remember this vital truism, this too shall pass. Bad times are temporary affairs, and so are the good ones, so enjoy them. 
I'd like to end with a quote by Jose Harris. There comes a time in your life when you walk away from all the drama and people who create it. You surround yourself with people who make you laugh. You forget the bad and focus on the good. You love the people who treat you right. You pray for the ones who do not. Life is too short to be anything but happy. Falling down is part of life. Getting back up is living. Never in my wildest dreams while I was sitting there in 1984 would I have ever thought I'd be standing here in 2018. It's been a pleasure speaking to all of you this evening. I, in the 86 years of Lakeview alumni that have come before, offer our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations to you, the class of 2018. Lakeview would like to present this token of our appreciation to Jennifer Rabo, class of 1984, for her contribution to this evening's events. Thank you, Jennifer. Great message. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce one of the teacher advisors for the class of 2018, Mrs. Amanda Decker. Good evening. I want to first begin by congratulating all of the graduates today. You have worked hard these past four years and you deserve the recognition that you're receiving this evening. Additionally, I would like to send a special congratulations to our Shoblin Award winner, Charlotte Batchelor. This award is the highest honor for our graduates here at Lakeview. The staff has always played a large role in choosing this student each year. For the second year in a row, Lakeview staff has donated money in order to create a scholarship fund to be given in conjunction with the award. Not only do Lakeview teachers think the world of you, Charlotte, but we would also like to award you with a $1,200 scholarship. <laughs> this is our way of showing you our appreciation as an outstanding representation of Lakeview in your class of 2018. Mrs. Johnson and I have had the privilege of being the class advisors for the class of 2018 these past four years. Mrs. Johnson is unable to be here today, so I'm going to speak on behalf of both of us. Over the course of these four years, we've helped this class with building our awesome homecoming floats, our not-so-awesome cardboard boats, conducted numerous fundraisers, held dozens of student council meetings, field trips, and finally planning the senior prom. It was a lot of work, but definitely worth all of the strong connections that we have made with these students. As I sat down to write this speech, I struggled with finding words that were unique and meaningful. While trying to search for the right words to be spoken, I reflected back on my own high school graduation ceremony just 18 years ago. I quickly came to the realization that I don't remember a single word spoken in any of the speeches given. All of those well thought out words of wisdom were nowhere in my memory. So I guess if I fail up here today, the majority of you won't have any recollection of it a few years from now. But I did, however, try to put together some of the best advice I can give you as you move forward to whatever comes next in your lives. You chose the class song, The Good Old Days, by Macklemore. One of the lyrics in the song says, I wish somebody would have told me that someday these would be the good old days. Additionally, your class motto states, I wish there was a way to know you are in the good old days before you've actually left them. Well, I can tell you that there's no way to know. There's no way to know which moment is going to define your future or which events will be characterized as the best days of your life. What I can tell you is to take each moment for what it's worth, including this one. Try to take in all of the speeches and congratulations and the advice that you are given here today. 
Be proud of yourself and remember this feeling and this day because soon it will be just a memory. Be present in all the moments in your life, even if it means looking up from your phone once in a while. Your phone will always be there, but that moment happening right in front of you will pass by all too quickly. Don't worry about taking the perfect selfie for your Snapchat story, or typing that perfect tweet, or creating that perfect post on Instagram. Instead, worrying about experiencing that moment. I hope you will soon discover that your self-worth is not determined by how many likes you receive, or by how many followers you have. Your self-worth is determined by your character and your actions. Be a person who others want to be around. Help others feel good about themselves, and in turn, you will feel good about yourself. Someone once told me, if you're not having fun, it's your own fault. Horrible events can happen in our life that are out of our control, but we can control how we react to those events. Your attitude is everything. So try and find the positive in your situation. Count your blessings and not your shortcomings. Looking back on your high school years, those may seem like the good old days or the best days of your life. But realize that if you keep experiencing and living your life to the fullest, you will have many more good old days to look back on. If you work hard and follow your dreams, with any luck, these won't be the best years of your life, but those days are actually yet to come. I'm excited to find out what is in store for each of you. Your life is what you make it, so make it a good one. Congratulations again, class of 2018. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Decker, excellent. And now, class of 2018, prepare to receive your diploma. Lakeview Board of Education, based on the completion of the requirements for graduation set forth by the Lakeview Public School Board of Education and the State of Michigan, it is with great pleasure that I recommend to you the class of 2018 for their high school diplomas. Julieta Pashkai Biblikai. Abigail Margaret Haas. Catherine Elizabeth Fisher. Ashley Madison Cardos. Caitlin Marie Abner. Christian Michael Adams. Arian Terrence Adams. Carico Mantez Adams. Monica Ray Stubbings. Michael Joseph Agresta. Taylor Jade Coldicott. Michaela Tiana Elise Ashford. Amy Cisse. Karen Lee Avery. Rachel Marie Barber, highest honors. Alexander Carlton Berenger. Julia Joyce Becerra. Caitlin Marie Bayshaw. Jake Emerson Belmore. 
Andrew Stephen Bergeron. Jared Scott Bilecki. Haley Elizabeth Bishop. Ryan Mitchell Bullier. Vaisha Parissa Boyer. Justin David Brassfield. Nicholas James Brinich. Sarah Kate Broderson. Alexandria June Lee Brown. Krishan Marquise Brown. <laughs> Amber Lynn Buzinski. Dan Mikkel Buford. <laughs> Alicia Josephine Bolero, honors. Alexander Nicholas Burghardt. Zachary James Berman. Samantha Leah Persteinowitz. Rachel Marie Busquart. Tyler Thomas Butler. Allison Grace Calloway. Patrick Anthony Canestrelli. <laughs> Noah Charles Carden. Diana Danielle Carpenter. <laughs> Richard Joseph Castro Jr. Joshua Jack Chase. Raymond George Chesney. Taylor Suzanne Chimera. Beck Donovan Sislinski. Emma Sophie Cole. Tyree Lamon Coleman Riggs. Brendan Keith Colgan. Alexandria Marie Colson. Samantha Rose Conley. Kylie Nicole Cornwell. Serena Lynn Cover. Taylor Anne Marie D'Alessio. Erica Joan DeLu, honors. Brandon Scott Demand. Tyler Douglas Dennis. Madison Jane DeHerty, highest honors. Elisa Genevieve Donato. Peyton Nicole Dacus. Drakia Lenise Doles. Asia Renee Donald. James Kenneth Dowd. Do Dowd. Alexandra Marie Dozik Honors. Jace Michael Dryman. Bradley Gerard Dugas Honors. Emily Jean Duncan. 
Miriam Elizabeth El Sader Honors. Keith Jason Fears, Jr. Nino John Ferreri. Alexander Gerard Fissett. Elijah Jacob Fontana. Connor Jacob Fox. Noah David Francis. Christine Marie Brassard. Haley Margaret Jacobelli. Douglas Andrew Gardner. Theodora Maria Galadaris. Jacqueline Spencer Gerard. Tyler Daniel Gasquire. Marcina Lamonte Golden. Brianna Jade Gooch. Rodrigo Lauren Grays Jr. Samantha Joe Grusser. Garrett Paul Goodnow. Andrew Joseph Golowitz. Christiana Marie Galino. Grace Meredith Gutierrez. Alex Carmen Gazzardo. Mason Riley Hardy. Nicole Ann Harmony. Anna Grace Harris Honors. Jason Michael Hawks II. James Alexander Heck. Brendan Michael Hedge. Gemma Elizabeth Hines. Nicholas Patrick Norbert Height. Victoria Christine Heitzman. JVR Elijah Henry. John Russell Herschelman. Brianna Lynn Hill Garza. Taylor Mayan Hines Honors. Brianna Teresa Henneke. Caitlin Marie Hof. Kayla Lee Hof. Cassidy Ann Holton. Tyler Frank Jin Hooten. Kenneth Bertram Hope II. Mark Anthony Hotra. Leonard Gregory Howell. Zachary Orion Hurd. Aaliyah Danielle Hutcherson. Demanuel Jamel Hutcherson. Chelsea Danielle Ina. Aaron John Innes. Sarah Brooke Izagiri. 
Clayton Allen Jackson. Angela Nicole Jackson. Dominic Thomas Jacobition. Noah Eugene Jada. Patrick William Jeffers. Andrew Michael Jenkin. Trinity Marie Jerome. Jasmine Haley Johnson. Micah Kania Johnson. <laughs> Teresa Elizabeth Katrubis. Derek Allen Jones, Jr. Samantha Ann Kemp. Leah Millicent Kelly. Erica Lynn Kirkland. Kaylin Anna Kendall. Madison Marie Klimowitz. Stephen Michael Klein Honors. Jacqueline Brooke Coles. Lawrence John Kapitsky Honors. Maxwell Norman Cordy Honors. Christian Wilson Knox. Alexis Morgan Kresge. Kyle Robert Cosell. <laughs> Kayla Paige Kufelt. Honors. Charlotte Ann Kramer. <laughs> Jacob Austin Labutt. <laughs> Jeffrey Vaughn Kukendall. William Potter Lacombe. Dylan Michael Lackey. Jenna Alexis Lage. Honors. William John LaFleur III. Alexander Philip LeMay. Austin Zachary Lane. Jayshawn Ronell Lampkin. Nicole Alexis Lamore, highest honors. Callie Nicole LaPrairie. Emily Marie Langell. Danae Tyrell Latner. Tristan Carlos Latimer. Chase McKinley LeCouf. Tessa Joan Lau Honors. Rhiannon Grace Lefevre Zamkik. Honors. Trent Anthony Lefevre. Jake Edward Leslie. <laughs> Katrina Lynn Laguerre. Kevin James Liebert. <laughs> Mariana Danae Lewis.
Tina Liu. Emily Catherine Litz. Frank Dominic Lopez. Deanna Yvette Long. Alexander Bradley Lovelace. Brendan Michael Latito. Jessica Summer Luckett. Isabel Anley Lovelace. Haley Marie Madalena. Jacob Douglas Lutsky. Eric Edwin McNaughty. William James Major. Keegan McLaughlin Malcolm. Carly Elizabeth Majewski Honors. Eva Marie Martin. Glicaria Anna Mantis. Courtney Tatiana Massey. Jacqueline Rose Martinick. Julia Marie McCracken. Finn Michael Mayfield. Alyssa Marie Melton. Mason Hunter Menzel. Joella Marie Mernetti. Jada Jarnay Miller. Simon David Miners. Logan Robert Missiak. Sophia Francis Moffitt. Mark Allen Monday Jr. Christina Marie Morset. John Willems Law Montgomery. Tyler Duane Morozinski. Madison Elizabeth Mozaleski Honors. Nathaniel Royal Myers. Joseph Philip Muth. Tyler Scott Napier. Michael James Nadon. Danielle Nicole Nicholas. Veronica Elizabeth Navak. Molly Kathleen Euler. Euler. Olivia May Nowak. Stephania Pastrana Solar. Savannah Patricia Pasella Honors. David Joseph Petticord. Emmett Elliot Pollock. Alyssa Renee Peltier. Amalia Roia Peoples. Sarah Celeste Perez, honors. Grace Elise Simona Pelser.
Ashley Teresa Pekorski. Chad Edward Pianowski, Jr. <laughs> Hannah Marie Pinn. Joshua Frank Preston. Raven Elizabeth Rawson. Andrea Diana Randazzo. Jacob Michael Ressler. Autumn Marie Reese. Matthew Sebastian Robeck. Honors. Joseph Noel Richter. Emily Fern Rose. Talia Alyssa Robinson. Shane Eric Rosney. Demario Ross. Tyler David Chaining. <laughs> Sienna Marie Sacconi. <laughs> Jayla Joyelle Sandifer. Morgan Ray Sawchuk. <laughs> Seth Hunter Scorpio. Shane Michael Schneider. Marissa Rose Scott. Madison Jane Scott. Autumn Gloria Simcoe. Stephanie Sue Shaw. Aubrey Lynn Skill. Marissa Ann Scuria, highest honors. Christina Marie Smith. Aaron Michael Smith. <laughs> Haley Lynn Smith. Jenna Nicole Jean Smith. Luke Spencer Smith. Julia Helen Smith, honors. Caitlin Marie Sidney, honors. Snyder, my apologies. Caitlin Marie Snyder, honors. Sidney Lee Smith, honors. Dylan Joseph Spencer. Claire Therese Sassi. McKenna Karen Supans. Taylor Elizabeth Stone. Kayla Angelique Thompson. Cole William Teeman. Bryce Jeremy Tisler. Shantez Darnell Thompson, Jr. Christopher Adam Terrell, Jr. Ariel Fannie Mae Turner. Garrett Scott Thomas Few. Sydney Claire Vernat. Rosemary Ann Vitali. Jacob Easton Vitali. Matthew John Verana. Madison Marie Vokes. Autumn Leah Walsh. Oh. 
Thomas Michael Walby. Gerard Edward Walter. Gabrielle Louise Walsh Honors. Trey Donald Watson. Owen Hunter Wassel. Haley Elise West. Taylor Marie Weatherly. Jessica Diane Waticha. John Michael Wickman II. Catherine Susan Willard, honors. Aaron Rose Weedoff. Warren Cameron Wilson. Tiana Amir Williams. Olivia Catherine Woodworth. Jalen Javon Williams. Tyree Lamar, Lamar Wright. Olivia Grace Wilson. Amanda Ann Zabel. Claire Marie Wallinson. Austin Ryan Zeider. Nicholas Jude Wozniak. Lydia Catherine Jeffsky, honors. Lauren Zania Wynn. Charlotte Elaine Bachelors, honors. Zoe Angela Zavisky, honors. Rachel Marie Ball, honors. Sierra Rose Zimmerman Honors. Morgan Christine Bean, Highest Honors. Daniel Gerard Blundell, Highest Honors, Valedictorian. Madison Nina Bordui, highest honors. Blake Everett Boldry. Riley Elizabeth Connell, honors. Megan Ashley Del Monte, highest honors. Andrew Oren Demon, highest honors. Keziah Joan Noel Eggert, honors. Anna Christy Ellis, highest honors. <laughs> Renee Marie Harboe, highest honors. Adam Ronald Hill, highest honors. Morgan Alyssa Jackson, honors. Gabriella Renee Kennerly, honors.
Catherine Marie Kilday, honors. Caitlin Nicole LeBlanc, honors. Samantha Ann McCool, honors. Kashela Imani Martin, highest honors. Andrea Grace Palladino, honors. Marissa Rose Perez, highest honors, salutatorian. Isabel Frazier Perhogan, honors. Alyssa Marie Rennick, highest honors. Allison. Zachary John Sargent, honors. Lauren Claire Soderberg, honors. Kara Michelle Thompson, highest honors. Jessica Mary Woods, honors. And last but not least, Jessica Sandra Woodside, honors. Graduates, today, this week, this month, many students just like yourselves will be graduating high school throughout the United States. According to the National Center for Educational Statistics, 3.3 million students will graduate this year from high school. A daunting and staggering number indeed. Each class will be filled, just like this one, with insanely talented students. You heard a little, about, little bit about them tonight in terms of the talent. I would put these kids up against anyone in the United States, hands down. The class of 2018 is an impressive group of talented individuals, but my focus is completely inaccurate. Yes, I'm wrong in focusing on talent. Talent is abundant. Talent is in each one of you here tonight. Talent is not what separates you from the masses graduating this year. Here's a secret, and the secret will carry you throughout your life. The secret to success and happiness is an unwavering, unrelenting, take no prisoners work ethic. Your work ethic, attitude, resiliency will carry you much, much further than talent ever could. The road to success is littered with talented people who at the first sign of adversity or hard, or hard times gave up. However, if you look at those who are truly happy and those who have defined success for themselves, the road to success is paved with those who never gave up. You have already started to ingrain that quality by making it here tonight. Your parents, guardians, and others who will guide you in your life after high school know this to be true. So, as you leave here tonight, and you celebrate your well-deserved achievements with your family, keep in mind how you set yourself apart from others. Your hard work, attitude, and resiliency is what will carry you. It always will. Your husky spirit will always remain at Lakeview High School long after this day. The relationships you forged, the experiences you shared, and the dreams you dreamt as a class will forever remain. So go out, dream your dreams, and do not quit until you have accomplished what you set out to do. Congratulations, class of 2018.
It is now my pleasure to introduce the Student Council Executive Board President, Madison Klimowitz. Madison is the youngest daughter of Don and John. At Lakeview, Madison was part of Student Council for two years and Executive Board President this year. She's a two-year cross-country runner and also played tennis for two years. Madison will be attending Saginaw Valley State University in the fall and will major in occupational therapy. Ladies and gentlemen, Madison Klimowitz. Would the class of 2018 please rise? Having met the requirements for graduation established by Lakeview Public Schools, I present to you the graduates of the class of 2018. Congratulations, you've made it. Cue the music. Thank you. Yep.